everybody, I'm Richard Holdner and welcome to another episode of Speed Secrets. Working with our friends over at Comp Cams, we're going to take a look at a legendary small block from the muscle car era. So stick with us as we build up and dyno test an L79 350 horse 327. If you take a look at the specifications of an L79 350 horse 327, you'll find a list of the usual suspects. I mean, it had a four bolt block, a forged crank, and 11 to one pistons. Now the combination also featured big valve heads, a high rise intake manifold, and a holiday carburetor. And if that sounds like most of the other motors built during the muscle car era, it is. I mean, you've got the DZ302, the L76-327, and the LT1-350. Now they all feature these components, but what made them different than the L79 is all those other motors featured solid flat tappet camshafts. Now the L79 featured a hydraulic flat tappet camshaft. But don't worry, Chevy didn't skimp on performance. If you stick that L79 in a lightweight Chevy 2 back in the day, it was a formidable machine. Lucky for us, Comp Cams came to the rescue with a reproduction of that camshaft. You see, Chevrolet, despite the fact that it was their biggest over-the-counter seller back in the muscle car era, they no longer offer that camshaft. But Comp Cams does. And that allowed us to put together a reproduction of an L79. So let's check out the parts that went in our motor and see how it does. The L79 featured an 11 to 1 short block. Then we added the reproduction comp cam. Then topped it with 202 fuelie heads. Comp cam supplied many of the valve train components, including rocker studs and guide plates, as well as the stamped steel rocker arms. The L79 featured aluminum high-rise intake. Then on the dyno with long tube headers and a 750 Holley. The L79 made impressive power. Okay guys, the results are in. And as you can see, the power rating offered by Chevrolet for that L79 seems pretty accurate. Run on our dyno, our reproduction produced 346 horsepower at 5,400 RPM and 383 foot-pounds of torque at 3,900 RPM. Now, does that mean that our motor reached the factory rating of 350 horsepower? Well, almost, but here are two things to think about. First of all, we ran our motor with long tube headers. Now, that factory rating likely came with a set of cast iron exhaust manifolds, which definitely would have hurt power. The other thing is that L79 was originally equipped with a four barrel Holley, originally rated between 585 and 600 CFM. On our test motor, we ran a 750 Holley, though at this power level, the bigger Holley probably wasn't worth too much. Either way, know this. Now we've run a ton of these muscle car motors and this L79 is right in the hunt. I'm Richard Holder. That's all the time I have. I want to thank the guys at Comp Cams. Join me next time on Speed Secrets.